I told you a scientific fact, like water can boil and freeze at the same time, would you be more likely to trust me now? Or if I was wearing makeup? So normally I wear makeup, both when I make these videos and in real life. And I've gotten some comments and lengthy emails about it that even inspired a response video from my friend Sally LePage. So it's made me wonder. As someone who wants to help people learn things, does it matter? Does it really matter if you wear makeup? Now, you may have heard about something called the halo effect. It's mentioned a lot in social psychology research and it's a cognitive bias where we assume people who are good at one thing will automatically be good at another, like they're wearing a halo. There's a halo effect of beauty too, where people who are rated as more attractive are believed to have higher social skills, confidence, and success. Basically, superpowers. I'm like Wonder Woman over here. So if someone has one positive trait, it colors your perception of many of their traits. And in studies of workplace environments, this can lead to some real world differences. Researchers have found that attractive men and women are more likely to be hired, promoted, and earn higher salaries than unattractive individuals. It's called a beauty premium and a plainness penalty, which seems ridiculous, but our decisions are not logical when cognitive bias is at play and the halo effect is one of the most common biases. We all have an inner jerk, sorry. In another study that used a trust game, participants invested more money in people whose faces were rated as trustworthy. You judge if people are trustworthy within a fraction of a second, as fast as 100 milliseconds. And features like a high inner eyebrow and prominent cheekbones are two of the main trustworthy traits. Sucks to have an untrustworthy face, I suppose. Emotional expressions like smiling help indicate that you're trustworthy too. Am I doing this right? You can actually tell the difference between a real smile and a fake smile pretty accurately. Though a big question with the beauty premium and trustworthy faces is, how does makeup influence our perception of beauty? And then trustworthiness. Luckily, there's some research on this too. This feels like too much liquid lipstick and I'm only on coat 13. <laughs> In one study, participants were asked to rate the same female faces with or without makeup, where the makeup style varied to be natural, professional, or glamorous. Now, the participants were shown the faces for a quarter of a second, as in this quickly, or for an unlimited inspection time, and they rated the faces for attractiveness, competence, likability, and trustworthiness. When the participants looked at the faces for a quarter of a second, the makeup had a positive effect on everything. The faces were rated as significantly more attractive, more competent, more likable, and more trustworthy. But when participants had a longer inspection time, things became more interesting, more layered, if you will. The effect of makeup on trust and likability varied by the different looks. For example, the glamorous makeup look increased attractiveness while decreasing judgments of trustworthiness. Oh no. But the inspection time of the faces didn't change the positive effect makeup had on competence or attractiveness. The results suggest two things. The first I've mentioned here before, that we have two modes of thinking, system one and system two. System one is fast and intuitive, and system two is slow and considered. We use system one thinking to form snap judgments, and it seems this extends to how we judge people wearing makeup. This isn't a big surprise, but it's helpful for us to remember that our bias is more likely to creep into our thought process when we're using system one thinking. The second is that our judgment of facial trustworthiness and attractiveness are partially separable. Makeup led people to think a face was more trustworthy initially, but the longer they looked at it, their judgments of trustworthiness and likability became more nuanced. 
please like me. So we can say that cosmetics have a positive effect on attractiveness, though a more recent study asked the question, how large is this effect? Researchers compared the attractiveness ratings of people before and after wearing makeup to differences in our individual looks and the varying amount of makeup we use. They found that the effect of makeup on attractiveness is small and suggested that in our everyday thinking, we may inflate the benefits of cosmetics. Makeup may not have a huge impact on our trustworthiness, though like many effects in psychology, it's nuanced. If I told you that water can boil and freeze at the same time, many subtle factors contribute to whether you believe me, the environment I'm in, whether you like me, the logic of my argument, what I've chosen to wear, my educational background, and even my accent. One benefit that is echoed by both scientific research and YouTube beauty gurus is that makeup and fashion boost our confidence. This is an effect that can impact how likable and competent we feel. Though in many situations where you want to appear credible, one thing to avoid is a super glam look, particularly a super, super glam look. <laughs> I love the 100 layer challenge, but trying to do it is ridiculous. I'm only up to code 22. <laughs> Hey everyone, I just wanted to pop in and say thank you for sticking around and watching what may have seemed like a slightly silly science video. It's actually kind of painful. But I saw the 100 layer challenge videos last year. Maybe it's a little bit old now, but it seemed like the perfect format for what I was trying to do here. I'll put a link to Sally's video in the description as well. And what you will also find down in the doobly-doo is a link to my new DFTBA store. I have hats and shirts and new merchandise that you can grab as well. So make sure you do that. You'll look cool. One hundred. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Look, mom, I'm wearing a hundred layers of lipstick. <laughs> I went to university for six years. Ah, uh, it's pretty disgusting. <laughs>